In this lecture, we'll start talking about the Arduino tool chain, meaning the, the sequence of, uh, of commands and code that has to get executed in order to run your code on the, on the uh, Arduino. So that means basically after you've written your code, uh, what happens to get that thing set up to go to actually execute on the Arduino? So there are several steps involved, and uh, we'll look under the hood a little bit at those steps. So here's a picture of what happens when you do verify and unload, uh, upload rather. Uh, so uh, on the IDE, you type in your code and you click verify to compile that code, or you click unload, upload to upload that code. Uh, and this is a picture of the steps involved inside that process. So you can see at the left side, you got code. So this can be one code file or many code files that you start with. Uh, we're just doing one code, but you, know, you can have as many as you want. Now first, those code files are all compi combined and transformed. So there's this pre-processing step right there that we're labeling combine and transform. Then the whole thing gets compiled. The image gets linked. We'll talk about what linking is. This is where you merge it with the libraries that we use. Uh, then it, the executable is converted into a hex file. And that hex file is actually uploaded to the board. So those steps, if you look at those, uh, the steps I have in blue, the first steps, compi combine and transform, compile, compile link, uh, hex file creation. Those steps are what happen when you verify. When you click the verify button inside the IDE, those steps are what occur. And remember, verify, it does the compile and all the, all the rest of the process, but it does not upload to the board. So uploading to the board happens when you click upload. When you click upload, it does everything. It does the compile steps, and then it takes the uh, file and actually uploads it to the board. So remember, uploading to the board means actually taking that code, uh, the executable code, and programming it into the flash on that Arduino so that it can start executing. So when you click upload, all these steps happen. The code gets uploaded to the board. And then as soon as it gets uploaded, which might take, you know, say, five seconds, whatever it takes, as soon as it gets uploaded to the board, it starts executing right there on your Arduino. Uh, so let's look at the first step. Uh, the combine and transform step is a, really a pre-processing step. So all the files, all the program files are combined into one big file. Uh, now, this is assuming you wrote more than one program file. If you have multiple C files or C++ files, sketches rather, that you want to combine into one big file, you can combine them into one. Also, uh, theoretically, if you wanted to, you could write assembly code and combine it at this stage too, although we're not doing that, but that is actually possible to do. So they can com get combined into one big uh, source code file. Now, uh, a hash include is added to, uh, to reference the Arduino libraries. So what this means is that, uh, remember that in addition to our code, the code that you write, the user code, there are all these libraries, these Arduino libraries that we're using inside our code, we're referencing. You know, so some of the commands that we use, like uh, digital write, digital read, these are commands that we're going to use. Those are actually functions that are in a library. Those are not part of native C, C++. Those are Arduino libraries. So, you write, so those libraries have to be included uh, into your big mess of code. So hash includes are added. You don't add those. They get added automatically, and they include the library functions that are used inside your code into the big uh, single source file that's going to compile. Also, function prototypes are added. Now, we haven't covered function prototypes, but uh, we don't need to because the, in Arduino programming, the user doesn't have to deal with them directly. Uh, in traditional C programming, though, and behind the scenes here, there have to be function prototypes. So every function that's defined, uh, a prototype basically tells you what the, uh, what the return type is for that function and also what its arguments are. So uh, these are, maybe it has two arguments, which are integers, and it returns an integer, and that has to be stated in the function prototype. So every function needs a prototype, and uh, this happens automatically behind the scenes. So when we're writing our code, we don't have to see it, but this combine and uh, transform step, it actually puts in the prototypes for us, so we don't have to see them. Also, a main is created. So every C function or C++, every C or C++ program has to have a main. Uh, the main function is the function where all execution starts. Now, if you remember, in our sketches, we don't have a main. We have setup and we have loop. But uh, the compiler, the C compiler, actually needs to see a main. So the main is constructed, is created based on the setup and the loop. So the setup and the loop are combined to create a main, and uh, the main function is defined automatically behind the scenes. Thank you.